Our seed flaming project was inspired by Rob Johansson of the Gornson Farm in Dresden, Maine. During fall flaming of potato vines, Rob observed smoldering weeds and considered killing weed seeds to be an added benefit, possibly, of the flaming operation. Standing weeds would be charred by the flames, and presumably the seeds that had been threshed free or shed from the mother plant would be on the soil surface where they would be flamed. Nicholas Yerudi, a visiting student from France, developed our post-dispersal flaming methods that we've used both in the greenhouse and in field experiments. Flame dosage is generally regulated by either forward walking speed or, in the case of our tractor work, driving speed. After flaming, seeds are recovered and viability is tested, either by germination or tetrazoleum testing. In the field, a high flame dosage of 0.36 miles per hour actually caused red root pigweed seeds to pop. Using Rob's field scale burner, we developed a dose response relationship for red root pigweed, hairy gallon soga, and condiment mustard, which we used as a control for our experiments. At a relatively high dose of 0.36 miles per hour, we killed all the condiment mustard seeds, but at 1.6 miles per hour, they were relatively unharmed. Overall, we demonstrated that flaming could be used to control weed seeds post-dispersal. However, the dosage needed is relatively high. The 0.8 miles per hour tractor speed is about half of what Rob would normally use to kill potato vines. Post-dispersal flaming is an additional tool to consider in a multifaceted approach to managing weed seed banks.